Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar and what I am going to do in this video, I am going to solve IIT Jam 2018 problem but having said that, this video is also useful in uh, GATE exam as well as NET exam because this question is a question of function of several variables for example, I took for the function of two variables and in this kind of two variables, they used to ask the questions like the mixed derivative and their relations with the derivatives and uh, what you can say can be interchange fxy, fyx and so on and so forth what is their difference if they exist does it imply a function is differentiable or not so this kind of questions are very popular questions in all exams so what I am going to do in this video at least I will touch those kind of flavor so that you will get the ideas how to do this type of problems in a simple language so, let's see the questions and understand how to do the questions. So, the question that is in 2018 and the question is very simple. Function they have defined. This is the function. When x, y is not equal to 0 and at 0, this is. So, what is the function when x, y is not equal to 0? x is plus 1 is the ratio of two polynomials when x, y is not equal to 0. And when x, y is equal to 0, this is the 0 function. So, if this is your function, what is the their mixed derivative ka difference? That's what they are asking. What do you mean by the mixed derivative? So mixed derivative is nothing but first you take derivative partially with respect to y, then you should take with respect to x, and on the other hand, first you should well, first you should take the derivative partial with respect to x, and then you should take with respect to y. Then at the point zero zero, because we jab bhi hum log derivative ki baat karte hain, so derivative is like the local property. So visually we look around a point. So this is at the point, we have to find this and then we have to evaluate their difference. So the very basic questions and they are expecting you to answer this kind of question. Or this type of questions are gore karing hai, to net mein bhi bhoja de poochhe ja rahe. This type of questions are gore karing hai, to gate mein bhi poochhe ja rahe. So ye, aur ye question bhoat ya saan hoote hai. Log isko tough maan lete hai, unka background aisa nahi hoota hai, ya phir joh padhte hai, woh saayi गलत डायरेक्शन में पढ़ लेते हैं इसलिए क्वेश्चन बन नहीं पाते बट ये क्वेश्चंस बहुत ही सिंपल होते हैं और बहुत ही आसान होते हैं कोई डरने का जरूरत नहीं है अनमेकर सिंपल है ठीक है तो इस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस को हम लोग कैसे डील करेंगे आई सो सॉल्यूशन हाउ डू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस हाउ वन आई विल बी अप्रोच सो हाउ डू थिंक दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस हाउ वन शुड बी अप्रोच दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट सो सो इसके लिए पहले हमें ये चीज जानना जरूरी है कि इसका मतलब क्या है and what do you mean by this? So let me recall. So first let me recall this kind of basic stuff. If someone is asking like this, del by del x, del f by del y, at certain point, let's say ab. Correct? So this is your difference. What does it mean? First, you differentiate y with respect to me. Partially differentiate y with respect to me. Then you should differentiate partially with respect to x at the point a. That is it. So, this is the meaning of this thing. There are also these notations used. And if this thing is going to be done, then del upon del y and del up by del x at a b. What do you mean by this? First, you should differentiate partially with respect to x. First, you should differentiate partially with respect to x, that function, whatever point they have given. And then you should differentiate with respect to y and evaluate the value at a. So, Jodi is the definition of that. So, I will uh, suggest you first look at the definitions of this. So, this is I leave as an exercise. Okay, you should know what is the definition of it. If you don't know, no, no need to worry. Go back, read any standard book. You will find the definition. What is the definition exactly of this and this? Right? You got the definition of the definition of you know. Answer ki piche mad bhaago, you know, solving problem is not an issue. Knowing the problem, knowing the approach, that is the issue. Your approach is good or not, that is the important. Solving problem is not important. If solving problem is important, then the machines are important in today's life. All problems are solved. That's not the same, right? So, look at the first of all definitions. What are the theorems available for us to solve this kind of problem? That is the first things you should ask always, right? So this, so I am going to use 
the definition of it what do we mean by this to answer this kind of questions right so that in exam for you it will take 5 to 10 seconds to answer this kind of question not more than 1 minute right so let me do this <coughs> so <coughs> first so I have to find look at that first first one if you evaluate this y x at 0 0 if I have to evaluate this how I have to evaluate first I have to evaluate partially with respect to y and then with respect to x so let me look at this so what is the definition of it what is the definition so f y x at 0 0 is nothing but f x you know a different curve x respect to so y x respect to the curve h ke long change ho x ke long change ho bhi ठीक है माइनस एफ वाई करेक्ट है जीरो जीरो बाय एच एंड लिमिटिंग वैल्यू एच एच दिस इज इट सो एफ वाई एक्स का मतलब फर्स्ट यू हैव ऑलरेडी नो द पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई एंड देन यू आर टेकिंग पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एट द पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन सो फॉर दैट आई हैव टू नो व्हाट डू मीन बाय दिस एंड व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट दिस इज नथिंग दिस इज वेरी सिंपल so h is now let's say 8 tends to 0 f of h k minus h of s 0 by k <coughs> so, so this is the definition okay so f of y h comma 0 is this limiting value of h to 0 f of h k minus f of h comma 0 by k i hope you have you so much but i mean such is this is the name of 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 और देखो और नहीं पता है तो कुछ लिखा हुआ यहाँ पर आप सोच सकते हो ठीक है अब इसको मैं मिटा दूँ तब अब 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 मुझे ये चीज निकालना है तो मुझे ये चीज पता होनी चाहिए आइए इस चीज को निकालते हैं आई पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई एट एच को मार्क जीरो इस नथिंग बट लिमिटिंग वैल्यू एट एच को जीरो and then h minus k upon h square plus k square minus f of h zero जब h zero रहेगा y का जगह पर zero so this will give you the zero so this is nothing but zero upon k this is it now this k and this k will get cancelled so limiting value k tends to zero let me erase this okay so, the imaging value k changes to this k cancel h square h minus k h square plus k square okay no need in rush right now we are not in the exam hall we are not in the exam hall we are learning so learn like a child okay learn like a child don't be rushed so look at the very carefully go through it everything samay lagega take it no problem aap samay invest kar rahe ho hi to use ho ga so k tends to 0, now take the limit k tends to 0, 0 by 0, so this is h2 by h square, so you will get h2 by h square and it is so we got it, so f of y h comma 0 is equal to h, right, so this is the my function, right, so now I will erase it, clear it, now I will erase it, so I am going to use, therefore, f of y x at 0 0 is equal to f of y h comma 0 minus f of y 0 0 by h limiting value h tends to 0 so limiting value h tends to 0 of this function what is this it's nothing but h minus 0 and this is nothing but limiting value h tends to 0 of h by h and that's nothing but so this value we got it 1 Okay, so no problem. ठीक है, मैं इरेज करता हूँ सेल में। So जो भी हमने निकाला है, उसे मैं यहाँ पे लिख देता हूँ। So what we got, therefore, f of y x at zero zero is nothing but one. Fine. Next we have to find f of x y at zero zero. So for that, so this is nothing but correct है। So the limiting value k x to zero of this f of x. 0 k minus f of x 0 0 by k 
very simple, it's so easy problem, right? And now I have to find what is this? What is f of partial derivative of f with respect to x at this point? And this is very simple definition. This is nothing but h k minus <coughs> 0 k upon h limiting value h tends to 0. And what is this? <coughs> Liquid value limiting value h tends to 0. And this is nothing but h square k h minus k upon h square plus k square on each and each and each h. We cancel out it with nanya, limiting value h tends to 0. The h is cancelled, so you will get hk. This is h minus k. Now, but in my h square plus k square. Open the degree which is jata, so now I will get it 0. So, this leave as an exercise. Please justify it. Justify it is in limiting value h tends to 0. hk, h minus k by h square plus k square equal to 0. There are various forms. One form is called polar's form. Through that, you are also able to answer. So this is zero. ठीक है? तो समझ मारे कैसे हम लोग deal कर रहे हैं, कैसे हम लोग चीजों का approach कर रहे हैं, ठीक है? So this is zero. So यहाँ से हमें लिया zero. So partial derivative of f, partial derivative with respect to x at any arbitrary point zero comma k is zero. So in part two zero zero के लिए zero. So ये zero, ये zero. Zero by zero minus zero zero, zero by k. Anything is zero. So using this, what is the value I get? Correct? So my value is <coughs> 0. So therefore, f of yx at 0, 0 minus of f of xy at 0, 0 is nothing but 1 minus 0 plus 1. So answer is, the correct answer is 1. Okay? So let's say some questions that approach to do. Okay? So very simple. Simple is when you are very smooth in the calculation. When you are partial derivatives, you are very clear about the answers. If you are very clear about the answers, then you are very clear about the answers. Otherwise, you can have a little bit of difficulty. If you have a little bit of difficulty, don't worry. Here is written something. Here is written something. Come and learn mathematics. So thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.